Ms. Kitchener, you claim a loan to Mr. Mortensen for some expenses. I read that you became friendly with Mr. Mortensen and his wife, and that in March of last year, he asked you for a loan. What was the loan for? Uh, to pay off debts um, that were incurred during the time he wasn't working. Um, he didn't have steady work, and they were speaking of eviction, and... How did you meet them? I was a direct supervisor of the defendant's wife, Paula, and we became very close friends and started hanging out. Do you still work with her? Uh, no, I don't. Do you still work at the same place? No, I don't. When did you leave? I left in August of 2018. How long had you worked there? 13 months. Are you working now? Uh, no, I'm not. How are you supporting yourself? I am actually, I've been offered a position, a director position, so I'm getting work within the month. Okay. Now, can you show me proof that money exchanged between you and Mr. Mortensen in March of last year? Can you show me proof that money exchanged between you and Mr. Mortensen in March of last year? I cannot show you proof, but there was money exchanged, yes. Well, I have to see proof. How much money was exchanged? Um, actually, $5,000. I have to see proof where you took that money from. I do have that. I do have uh, well, the records of the bank statements. Oh, I'd like to see it. Okay. What did she give you the money for, Mr. Mortensen? This is uh, never a loan, Your, your Honor. Up. That's not what I asked you. That's what I'm here to determine. Okay. What did she give you the money for? As an investment. Explain it. We run a race team. She wanted to invest the money into the <laughs> race team, and she would get 25% of the winnings from each race that we ran that year. And that you did for a living, or you did as a We hobby? do it. I hire drivers, yes, ma'am. Okay. You hire drivers, which means you have a business. Yes, ma'am. And when one has a business, one has contracts. Correct. Do you have a contract with your drivers? I do. Um... I'm just asking, you have a contract? Yes, I do. I have contracts with each driver, yes, ma'am. And when you enter a race, you also have a contract with the racetrack? Yes, we sign, yes. You what? You sign a contract? Yes. That's what people do when they make an investment. So I'd like to see proof that you have that instead of giving you money to pay your bills because you had been out sick for a while, according to you, that there was an investment made with a 25% return guaranteed. I would like to see that contract. And there was never a contract. Of course that. not. Mm -hmm. yep. Of course not. Because that's what people do. I mean, if you enter a race, you hire somebody as a driver, you sign a contract. You don't have to agree with me. Oh, sorry. When someone invests in your business $5,000, what you do is you sign an agreement in exchange for 25% of the next 10 races. I'm giving you $5,000. Then you have a contract. Otherwise, you're just reneged on a loan. Judgment for the plaintiff in the amount of $5,000 we're finished.